hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in my previous video I discussed about some basic introductory concepts associated with uh, p-n junction diodes such as the basic definitions the uh, representation and the schematic symbol and some uh, basic concepts associated with forward and reverse biasing or connections of p-n junction diodes now in this video we will be uh, discussing about the equivalent circuit models of the p-n junction diode okay so p-n junction diode equivalent circuit models so let's get started now there are actually three types of equivalent models of a p-n junction diode now what is the equivalent model the equivalent model is the alternative or or the or we can replace the diode with a certain alternative circuit representation okay with the help of the basic electric or circuit elements such as voltages resistances or inductance capacitance it can be anything okay so here what we are trying to do is that we are trying to replace the diode okay replace the p-n junction diode with an alternative circuit representation using voltage source resistance inductance capacitance or any other circuit element as per requirement it does not mean that it will definitely contain a voltage source or definitely contain a resistance or definitely con contain a inductance or capacitance as per requirement okay so the equivalent model can be drawn for any other circuit it can be drawn for a operational amplifier op amp it can be drawn for a bjt it can be drawn for a pn junction diode okay so the equivalent model it means that we are trying to draw a alternative circuit representation of that device so there are three types of equivalent models available or which are normally uh, used for the analysis of a p-n junction diode so the first one is the approximate model uh, the second one is the simplified model and the third one is the ideal diode model so we'll be discussing these three uh, individually so here we have first is the p-n junction diode okay the arrowhead which is the p-type semiconductor and the bar which is the n-type semiconductor here this is the forward voltage across the p-n junction diode vf v subscript f and if or i subscript f is the forward current which flows through the diode in one direction because it is a unilateral device it allows flow of current only in one direction so what we are trying to do here is to try and find out an alternative circuit representation of this portion okay this portion we are trying to find out the alternative circuit representation what we can uh, do to replace this uh, device by using circuit basic circuit elements okay voltage sources resistance inductance capacitance so let's see how we can draw the equivalent or alternative circuit representation so first one is the approximate model okay so try to understand here here what we have done is we have replaced this device this pn junction diode with this this circuit representation here it consists of a voltage source v0 or it is called vbi it is called as the cut in voltage or the built in potential now this exists because of the existence of the depletion layer or the depletion region i have uh, mentioned about uh, depletion region or depletion layer in brief in my previous video uh, about uh, in the introductory concepts about pn junction diodes you can check out that video so it uh, this 
voltage okay this voltage it represents the cut-in voltage or the built-in potential it is also called as built-in potential in some textbooks in some textbooks it's called as cut-in voltage so there are different names for this so it exists because of the depletion layer between the p-type and n-type border regions of the p-n junction diode I have met, I have discussed about that in brief uh, in my previous video okay so this is a uh, uh, one uh, portion the second uh, element circuit element or electrical circuit element which uh, is there is the resistance the forward resistance it is the opposition which is offered by the diode to flow of current so the approximate model okay as per the approximate model we can replace the diode with the help of these two circuit elements the voltage source and a forward resistance this forward resistance value is normally in the range of uh, several ohms okay it's less the forward resistance is less as compared to the reverse resistance the reverse resistance is in, of the order of mega ohms okay it's very high but this forward resistance is uh, is less in the order of several ohms so in the approximate model we have replaced this pn junction diode with the help of this voltage source in series with this forward resistance RF. Now this is the forward voltage across this whole circuit connection and this is the forward current which flows through the device. Next is the voltage current plot for the approximate model okay this is for the approximate model. So as you can see we have uh, plotted the uh, forward voltage in x axis and the forward current in the y axis. So, before we increase the forward voltage, so whenever it is increased, there is no uh, increase, actually, there is no forward current at all until it reaches this point, which is V0 or VBI. This is the cut in voltage or the built in potential. So, until the VF, the forward voltage reaches the cut-in voltage or the built-in potential, the forward current is zero. There is no forward current at all. There is no flow of current at all in the PN junction diode. Once it crosses, it exceeds the built-in potential or the cut-in voltage, which is generally about 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.5 volt for germanium there is an increase in the forward current with respect to the forward voltage now this obeys ohmic characteristics or ohms law because of the existence of this forward resistance okay that's why it shows ohmic behavior like this it has a slope okay so try to understand this this is the built in potential or the cut in voltage so once this forward voltage exceeds this built in potential there is current flow in the circuit and once we exceed or increase the forward voltage above the built in potential because of this forward resistance which is in series with the cut in voltage there is ohmic behavior exhibited by the voltage current characteristics for the approximate model okay so this absence of current up to this is because of this cut in voltage or built in potential and this ohmic behavior is because of this forward resistance of several ohms okay so this is the voltage current plot for approximate model next is the simplified model so again we have tried to replace this diode this device with the help of a equivalent or alternative electrical circuit model so here there is only the cut in voltage or the built in potential there is no forward resistance the only difference between the approximate model and the simplified model is the absence of this forward resistance in simplified model there is no forward resistance only the cut in voltage or the built in potential so can you guess how the voltage current plot will look like 
okay see here it's straight straight there is no ohmic behavior there is no slope in the plot this this curve there is no slope it straight away jumps off once the forward voltage reaches the cut in voltage or the built in potential why because there is no forward resistance there is no opposition to the flow of forward current so once the forward voltage it crosses or it reaches this uh, built in potential or cut in, cut in voltage the forward current shoots off okay almost straight so before cut in voltage or built in potential is uh, reached there is no current it is same as that of approximate model no current flow in the circuit the diode circuit before the forward voltage reaches the built in potential but once it attains the built in potential or the cut in voltage value the forward current has a sharp increase almost straight there is no slope there is no slant because of the absence of the forward resistance here in this approximate model because of this resistance it had a slope ohmic behavior because of the resistance but here as there is no resistance there is no slope there is no ohmic behavior next is the ideal model of the diode so in the ideal model of the diode there is no cut in voltage okay no cut in voltage or built in potential and no forward resistance it means there is no voltage opposition or no resistance opposition in the ideal model that's why it is called as ideal model there is no uh this built in potential there is no built in potential or forward resistance in the ideal model now the ideal model is highly unlikely uh to find in real life situations you will never find a diode which shows ideal behavior means no cut in voltage or no forward resistance most of the time you will find diodes with the approximate model okay there will be some cut in voltage or built in potential which is 0.7 volt and 0.5 volt for silicon and germanium and there will be some forward resistance associated with it some oppos opposition associated with it. this is the uh model this is the behavior which you will find in most of the commercially available diodes the diodes which you will use in circuits it will always have this sort of characteristics you will never find a ideal model okay it it is impossible almost impossible to find a diode with ideal behavior so the voltage current model for a plot for the ideal model is that e at zero voltage at zero forward voltage there is a sharp increase in the forward current because so there is no requirement for any increase in forward voltage okay at zero voltage even at zero voltage there is a sharp increase in forward current so you don't have to apply any voltage that's why it is the ideal model okay so there is no slope because there is no resistance and there is no need to overcome a cut in voltage or built in potential because there is none so even at zero at origin at this point at zero forward voltage at zero forward voltage there is a sharp increase in forward current this sort of behavior you will never find in any diode it is highly unlikely the ideal model for the diode in most of the cases you will find uh in commercial uh, available diodes in real life situations you will always find diodes with this sort of behavior some value of uh, cut in voltage which is 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.5 volt for germanium and some forward resistance associated with it in series of the order of several ohms so here we have discussed about the three types of equivalent model representations of a pn junction diode the approximate model the simplified model and the ideal model and the voltage current characteristics associated with them 
so in my next video i will be discussing about the voltage current characteristics in forward and reverse bias regions of a pn junction diode and more videos associated with pn junction diode so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much